Hello tech people! In this video, we're going to see how to control any 3D model using an ESP8266. We're going to do this by using a web server that is capable of loading 3D models and using an MPU6050 gyroscope module to get and set the rotation of the 3D model. So all we need is an ESP8266 and a gyroscope module. I'm using an MPU6050 here. Connect the gyroscope module using the SPI pins, that's D1 and D2 on most ESP8266 boards. Then, connect the power pins of the module and we are ready to code. Download the project from the link in the description and open it in Arduino IDE. The project requires these libraries. Use the library manager to install them all. I'll leave the list of libraries in the description. After you've installed all the libraries, you need to add your Wi-Fi name and password here. And that's it. Upload the code. Open your serial monitor. After your Wi-Fi is connected, you will get the IP address for the web server. Also make sure the gyro sensor is properly connected. If you get an error message like this, check your wiring or see if the sensor is malfunctioning. If it says sensor found, open the IP address in a web browser. It will load the default 3D model, which you can control with your ESP8266. To use your own model, click on Browse and select a GLB file. For now, only GLB models are supported, as they usually have the textures within the file and they're faster to load. Also, you can always use free software like Blender to convert your 3D files to the GLB format. Once you have loaded your 3D model, if it is not visible, try zooming in or zooming out using the middle mouse button. Each 3D model might have its own size. This web server will also run on mobile devices. As simple as that, you can load your own 3D models and control them with your ESP8266. Comment if you're gonna use this project or have any questions. And as usual, a like and subscribe would be amazing.